Welcome to Space Arena, the Ultimate Python Turtle Graphics Game Tutorial Part 19, where we make enemy missiles, or at least we try. Um, welcome everybody, it's been a long time since I've been able to continue this particular uh, tutorial series. I do apologize for the delay. Just so you know, I have channel memberships now. I'd like to shout out to uh, Kevin and Paul, my very first two members. So there'll be a link down below if you're interested. So let's take a look and see what we have here. Uh, we've got Space Arena. So in the last uh, lesson, we did this uh, splash screen. And what we want to do today is we want to add the ability for enemies to shoot missiles, uh, hopefully, at the player. So I haven't quite figured this one out yet. We're just going to let her rip and see what happens. So we've got our player. Player rotates. Space bar fires. And when we kill an enemy, it's, you know, changes the level and we get more enemies. There's different types of enemies. Uh, red ones attack, I think pink ones run away, and orange ones sit there and chill for a while. Um, so yeah, so what we want to do is we want to make it so that these enemies can now shoot at the player. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just make a copy of the missile class. Um, for those of you who are curious, I get this question a lot. Uh, I am using the editor called Genie. It's free, it's open source. Check it out at genie.org. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, go ahead and make, I'm just going to copy this class and make a new class called enemy missile. And I might not have to do it this way, but I think it's gonna be easiest. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy it and paste it. And then I'm gonna go up here to change the name. I'm gonna call this enemy missile. Uh, note the, the style here, it's, it's uh, I guess camel casing, so, or just Pascal casing. Anyway, capital E, capital M. And I want to, use this class now. So what I want to do here is go to where I create the missiles. And to be honest, I don't remember where that's at, but I think if I do a little quick search, I can do missiles.append. It should be there somewhere. Yosh, that's what we wanted. So I'm going to close that. And you can see here I've made three missiles, but what I want to do is I want to add one more. So I'm going to say, well, let's go ahead and say add enemy missiles. Now since this is a copy of the uh, this is a copy of the missile class for the player uh, I'm going to just basically do the same thing. So missiles.append I think this is going to give us an not an error error but it's going to it's going to work really weird and we'll fix that later. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put 0 100 just like I did here. Uh, I'll make the enemy missiles circles as well and we'll just make them red so that we know which one is which. So I'm just going to try this and see what happens. So um, now watch what happens when I run the program. If I run it, I'm going to be sitting through this splash screen every single time. And I, I don't want to do that. I'm, I'm kind of an impatient person sometimes. So what I can do is if I go up to here, before, just before I do the splash screen, I'm going to say win.tracer0. I think that will do it. Yeah, so that's going to speed that up. Okay, so now, oops. Um, so you can see now the missiles aren't working. Okay, and the reason is I did some kind of bad coding, I think, the last time when I did this. Um, so the missiles now have, this, because there's four missiles in the uh, missile list. So if I go to player, and where the player fires. So you can see here where I look for number of missiles. And I have one, two, and three hard coders. This probably wasn't the best design choice. So to fix that, I'm gonna go back to where I made that missile. And I'm just gonna search for that. So it was missiles.append. And instead of appending to the missiles, I'm gonna go ahead and just append that straight to the sprite list. I don't know if that's the right choice, but I think it's gonna work. And I'm going to say sprites.append. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and run that and see if we got a missile anywhere. And start. Okay, now I don't see the missile, which eh, probably is a good thing, actually. But now firing is working again. So sprites.append, sprites. So when we start the game, so I'm just kind of trying to remember how the game works. You see we've got game.start level. So if I go up to start level, you'll see sprites clear. So, oops. So I'm going to go back to uh, where I just was. 
And where was that actually? I should have made a note of that. Because this is now a very long program. Um, and what I could do is I could separate the classes out into a, a separate file if I had to, but let's just keep it one file. Um, so here, add enemy missiles. Let's go ahead and cut that out of here. And let's go put that into the game start level. And just one thing, you notice how yeah, I'm kind of making little mistakes here. Now, I actually did look at this earlier, and I kind of figured that wasn't going to be the right spot. But I do want to see you see, I want you to see me making mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. You know, it's just, it's just a part of life's imperfections. So I want to put that here, and let's see what happens now. Okay, so I'm not seeing it on the screen, which is probably a good thing. So it should be at 0, 100, and missile and missiles, rights of pen. Uh, I think I know why. And this is, this is by design, because we don't want them to appear at the beginning. So where is the enemy missile class? So the state is ready. Um, so unless it's active, we won't see it. So let's go ahead and make the state active and see what happens by default. Just We're just testing here. And watch quickly. Oh, we got an error. There's no shape name circles. Did I really do that? <laughs> really? Uh, that's going to be one of those days. Um, back to start level. Um, start level, not start. Yeah, I really put circles there. Oh my gosh. I should have my license taken away for this. Okay. And you can see now we had a little bit of a missile there. So now what we want to do is we want to have that missile fire. Now that's going to have to happen in the main loop. Well, actually, I should put that back to enemy missile. Uh, make sure it's not active when we start. So ready. And now in the main loop, you know, with the regular missile, with the player missile, when the player pushes space, that's when it fires. But since the enemies don't really fire, um, that's not really going to work for us. Uh, you know, we have to figure out a way to get them to fire. So what I'm going to do is when I'm playing the game, let's see here, update sprites, playing clear, render sprites, check for end of level. Well, okay. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, so why don't I do this? Game state equals playing. And before we check for collisions, let's go ahead and just put this in here. It doesn't have to be here, but we can put this here. So fire enemy missiles. Okay. So the first thing we have to determine is we have to find the enemy missile. Um, so let's think how we want to do this. Uh, okay, I know. Again, I didn't plan this one out ahead of time, so that's why there's it's not quite as smooth as I usually like to think I am, at least. So I'm going to go back to uh, start level. And you can see what I did here is add missiles. So I'm going to try and just kind of copy that. So for I'm going to say for enemy missile in enemy missiles. I know I haven't created it yet. Missiles. Sprites append enemy missile. And I'm going to cut that out. Again, I'm sorry for all these changes, but again, I think it's important to see this process that nothing ever works <laughs> the way we plan them. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and give this a shot here. And then finally, I got to come back down to uh, missiles and I find that again. So I'm just going to basically do the same thing, but with enemy missiles. So enemy missiles equals, to, and that's a list. And for now, we're just going to have one missile in range uh, one. I'm going to say enemy missiles dot append. And as I copied that earlier, we did that. So then up in the game dot start, this is game dot start level. Um, so let's see, we did that. And then down here, 
Now we're going to go down to the main loop. I know this is jumping around a lot, but this is life. Um, can I do that over here? No. Okay, so we create the missiles. Okay. So you can see down here, I think. No. Okay. So now what I got to do is for enemy missile in enemy missiles. Okay. If enemy missile dot, I think it's state equals uh, ready. Okay. You need to fire the missile. And now to do that, we need the missile to go where there is an enemy. Okay, so for now what we'll do is we'll say for sprite in sprites if is instance uh, sprite an enemy. So if it's an enemy we'll say enemy missile dot go to enemy dot x enemy dot y I think actually it might not be right it's been a while, such a long time since I looked at this code um, let's go back to enemy okay sprite uh, let me just check out the sprite class yes there's an x and y okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and try this and see what happens oh and then I need to also uh, I should go back down where I was. I need to, and I'm gonna say enemy underscore missile dot state equals active. Now notice I haven't given it a direction or anything like that. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. Oops. Okay. Thinking this will work, maybe. Okay, splash screen. This object has no attribute go to. Yeah, so enemy missile dot x equals. Uh, yeah, this is totally wrong. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, you're gonna hear that a lot probably in this tutorial. Sprite dot x and enemy missile dot y equals sprite dot y. Okay, so let's try that again. So basically, I'm just trying to find the first enemy I can in my list of sprites, and then move the missile there and set it to active. Okay, there's the enemy. Now, since this enemy is not moving, it's not going to do much. Okay, so you, you saw that you saw the missile there. So you see how the missile keeps appearing. Okay, so this this is what sort of what we wanted to happen. Um, now it's stuck there for some reason. So something went wrong with the code, but that's okay. We can, we can live with that. Um, so we need to target the missile at the player. Okay. So I think that code is in here somewhere. Let's see if I can do a little search for ATAN new cancel. ATAN2. Uh, ooh, cancel. Alrighty. This is going to be a problem. Um, I think I know how to do it, though. Um, okay. So, let's see here. I'm pretty sure to do this. It's been a while since I tried this, but I've got math. Okay, let's try it. What the heck? Let's give it a shot. Um, So basically, we need to set the heading of the missile to towards the player. Okay, set heading. So to find the heading, it's heading equals math.atan2, and I'm pretty sure it's player.x, no, player.y minus uh, sprite.y comma player dot x minus sprite dot x. I'm gonna say 
print heading and see what happens. Uh, so I want to see that. I also want to see enemy missile dot heading equals heading. I think this will do it. Maybe. It's still not going to move, but that's a different problem. Okay, so you can see over here the heading 2.8, 2.5, 2.10. The numbers are pretty consistent. Let me move the player, see if those numbers change at all. Okay, good. Yep. Okay, this is good. Okay, so these numbers, this this formula, gives you that heading in radians. Um, radians is just some math system. Um, so we need it in degrees. So radians is. Uh, to get radians to degrees, you need pi over 180 over pi uh, times, I think it's 180 over 3.14159 pi, is, that's about pi. Um, let's try that and see what happens. I think that's right. Nope. That is not right. Oh, so, okay, so that's wrong. So, enemy. Missile dot heading. Okay, let's try that. Print that out. Okay, this is good. So 36 degrees, which is about right. Now the player is moving. So now, yes, it's working. This is this is what we wanted. Okay. Okay. So you can see how the the bullet's still firing, but it's not moving. Okay, so that's that's fine. We we can live with that. Um, so now, now we need to get the missiles DX and DY matching the heading. So how do we do that? How do we do that in other other areas? Um, let's see here. Let's go to let's go to missile. Let's see how the missile class does it. Um, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Ah, interesting. Okay, this makes it really easy. Okay, so what we got to do, thank God, uh, it's fairly simple, is we've got to fire the missile. So we've set the heading, and then enemy missile dot fire. And that should send it towards the player, I think. Oh, for heaven's sakes, fire. Seriously? <laughs> Let's take a look at this. Oh. Wow, okay. All right, so XY heading. Okay, so I need to send these values. So XY heading DX, DY. Okay. So now this DX and DY was from the, the speed of the already moving object. And this xy is its own xy. Um, OK, yeah, I can do that. All right, I think that's going to do it. Um, so <laughs> oh, this is not the prettiest, prettiest tutorial ever, so I do apologize. But uh, I think it's going to work. So all this stuff I did here, we don't have to do. Um, we can actually, except for the heading. We need to calculate the heading. Um, so what I need to do here is I'm going to put in here it's that fire so X is going to be the sprite dot X that we're firing from the sprite dot Y the heading we just calculated um, it will set the active state for us we don't have to deal with that anymore um, and the heading we need to calculate and DX and DY is going to be the uh, sprite dot DX and the sprite Dot dy. Normally, we're, previously with the missiles, we were firing from the position of the player, but now we're firing from the position of this sprite that we found. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that. Fingers crossed. Okay, so you can see it's firing, but now not quite the right direction, but that, that's a start. Um, all right, I can live with that. That's, that's, that's reasonable. Um, sprite xy, sprite dx, sprite dy. Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and print that heading again. So print enemy missile.heading. And just make sure the heading part's working. Okay, so we're we're getting the wrong formula there. Um, oh, that's right. So we gotta actually change the heading so that we get the values there. So I think that's gonna fix it. So I'll comment that out for now. Okay, so you can see it's shooting towards the player roughly. Okay, so that, that's working. That's ooh, that's what we wanted. Alrighty. Okay, I'm liking this now. I'm pretty happy. Ooh, okay. So it's not particularly accurate, which is okay. We don't want the game to be too hard. Um, let me think about that for one second. Uh, that was good. Okay, now you can see it's always going to fire from that one enemy. Uh, we'll fix that in a little bit. Let's let's get the collision working now, so that there's a collision between the uh, player and the uh, um, missile, enemy missile. So let's try this here. So let's deal with that. Um, so enemy missile collisions with player. Okay, so um, so this is for sprite and sprites. Okay, so if is instance sprite enemy missile. I didn't need that extra parenthesis there, and get rid of that. Well, I could have it; wouldn't hurt anything. Uh, if it's sprite, if uh, sprite dot state equals active, and sprite dot collision sorry is collision player. Okay, so sprites dot resets. That resets the missile. Player dot health minus equals, let's say 10. Just try that. I think that's it. Let's try it. See what happens. So if it's a so if it's a miss enemy missile, and if it's active and it collides with the player, reset that sprite. I think, and then set the player health minus 10. So I have to get close enough that I can get shot here. Um, oh, it went down. Oh my gosh, it works. Yeah, it's not particularly accurate. That's, that's a different problem. Um, it's not accurate because the uh, other player is moving, I think. Okay, let's, let me shoot at this person and see what happens. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, ooh, yeah. So I'm getting shot here. And. Okay, so you can see that's still shooting at me. Okay, it works. Okay, so I guess it's working. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is it always shoots from the same uh, enemy. So what I'm going to do, and this isn't probably that pretty, but um, what I'll do is I'm going to make a list of enemies. And let's go up to that code. Um, so for enemy missiles and enemy missiles. Um, if, so right here what we're doing is if the enemy missile state equals ready, then we're going to fire that missile. Um, okay, and then for sprite and sprites. So if, what we got to do is find all find all enemies. Okay, so so I'm going to make a little list of enemies. Okay, 
Okay. And what I'll do for sprite and sprites, if it's an enemy, uh, enemies append sprite. So that gives me a list of all the currently current active enemies. And then what I'll do is I want to choose one enemy. So enemy equals random dot choice enemies. So that gives me one enemy. And then I just need to unindent this. I think that's it. And player, player, sprite. And then this needs to be changed to enemy. Again, there's probably a better way to do this, but I think this is going to work. And it's pretty straightforward. Um, it's also, I want to get this done in a few minutes. So enemy, oops, enemy. Enemy, oops. And, okay, so we'll have to get this to level, well, first of all, see if it still works on level one. Okay, so you see how it's shooting at me, it's hitting me, boom. Okay, so let's go ahead and shoot back. Now we've got, okay, now you see how sometimes it's shooting from one. Okay, we got, we got a little error there. Uh, Okay, so it's shooting. Okay, so you can see how it's shooting from different directions now. This is pretty cool. Um, now, it makes it really challenging. Um, so we might have to add some kind of timer so that it doesn't keep shooting constantly. And you can see I've got some kind of error there with like a hidden enemy showing up. But we'll just let that go for now. <laughs> okay, that's one of those things we'll, we'll fix later. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's it. Um, it actually works. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, again, I, I know there's a lot of like going back and forth on some of the code because like I said, I haven't looked at this, this code in ages. And, but I will put this, this finished version uh, up on GitHub so you can, and the link down below where you can download that. Um, so just you know, watch back through the video. But basically what we did was we created a new enemy missile class. And it's just a copy of the missile class. So it does all the same stuff. And you know, we might end up changing that a little bit later, uh, letting the enemy missiles function a little bit differently. But for now, we'll, we'll use those. And then um, we made a list of those missiles somewhere. And yeah, enemy missiles. And you know we could make more than one, uh, but for now we'll just use one. And uh, then in the game.start level, boy, this is complex. We added those missiles to the sprites list, which is, which is important. And then down here in the main loop, we uh, basically checked and see if there were any uh, missiles, I'm still scrolling down. If any of the missiles were ready, and if so, find all the enemies, choose one at random, and shoot at the player from that spot. And then finally, we had to check for a collision between the enemy missile and the player, and we took off 10 health. So those are the different parts that we did today. Wow, that was intense. Uh, I hope that helped more than it hurt, and I hope uh, this uh, satisfies your need for more Space Arena. Until the next time. Take care. Keep on coding.